welcome back to Inspirational Cafe. I'm your girl Rochelle here. I uplift, encourage, and inspire. Don't forget to hit that like button, share, and please subscribe. Listen, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice. We are rejoicing because we are alive and we are well. God has kept us another day, so that's another reason to give God praise. I want to tell you, get up and get over it. No matter what you feel like has defeated you this past week, yesterday, last night, even this morning, get up and get over it. God has purposed us with another day of grace. He has allowed us to be alive and well. We know many people don't even know who they are, where they are, their names, what day of the week it is. We are blessed, so that's enough reason to give God praises on today. We have to get up and get over it. Don't sweat the small stuff. Many of us know that, yes, in this season, it's been difficult. We face many challenges. There are so many things that we wanted to accomplish, even in this year, even in last year, that we haven't. But we have to get up and get over it. Start over again. Those things that are behind you, leave them behind you. The word of God declares, leave those things behind you, behind you. Move forward. Walk into your purpose. It's time to move. This is the season. I want to declare to someone, this is the season to move into your purpose. Move into your greater. Those plans and ideas, pick them up. Dust that book off. Those plans that you had in your journal. Dust that book off because I know there's a lot of dust on there. I've had journals for years. I'm, I'm a journal keeper. I like to keep journals. I like to remind myself. I like to set goals for myself and to remind myself of just how far I've come. So I'm a journal girl. I like journals. And I had to find myself dusting off my journal from last year. As I stated in a video before, God has spoken to me in 2020 and said to start a YouTube channel. And I said, I'm not starting no YouTube channel or YouTube channel. First off, during this pandemic, who's gonna listen to a YouTube channel at this time? That was my thinking. Who in the world is gonna listen to someone try to encourage them during a pandemic? But see, that was my carnal mind. That was me thinking, not consulting God once he told me what to do. No, I, I didn't even consult God. The first thing I did was tell him what I wasn't going to do and actually gave him many reasons as to why I shouldn't do it. But how many of us know when God gives you a plan, when he tells you what to do, you need to trust him. Yeah, pray about it and meditate on it. But the biggest thing that we do, the biggest fault that we have is we want to tell God how it should work, why it's not going to work, and why we shouldn't do it, why we aren't capable enough to do it. That was my thinking. And boy, was I wrong. Because just as if God spoke it into your life, that means he'll give you the tools to achieve it the tools to go forth, to manifest what he's spoken into your life. But I just came up with every excuse in the book why no one would watch YouTube videos during a pandemic. So of course, I didn't start last year. I didn't start it. But how many of you know when God gives you, when he gives you a purpose, when he gives you an assignment, and he means for you to do it. He won't leave you alone until you do just what he says to do. He won't leave you alone. You'll toss and turn at night. He'll even give you ideas as to what is your content. He'll give you a name. He'll show you exactly everything that he wants you to do. And I found myself more and more every night. I would find myself saying, God, okay, well, if this is what you want me to do, what am I going to talk about? 
what is going to be my content? Because in my mind, I had to have it all figured out for myself before I allow God to move me and push me into where he wants me to be. See, that's where we mess up at. First of all, we tell God his plans for our lives. We tell him exactly why we can't do it. It's not going to work. Yeah, even though he's spoken into our lives, we have all the answers. And God says, no, I have all the answers. You need to be obedient and you need to get up and get over all those reasons why you can't do it and just do what I said do. Be obedient to my will, to my way, to my word. Because guess what? You have to follow God and allow God to lead you and you not be the leader. You have to be that servant unto Christ, just as he was a servant unto everyone else. The problem is we, we think we can tell God exactly what we should be doing or how we should do it. When God already says, no, be obedient. Listen to what I say. Pray about it. And then go forth. Often it's because of the fear that's on the inside of us. Because see, so many other times, the plans that I had for myself, the plans that I thought that I should be walking in, my plans, they weren't from God, but they were my plans. And see, often the plans that we have, that we, we assigned for ourselves and they don't work, that causes great fear on the inside of us. There has been many plans that I have for myself that didn't work. So I would think back onto that. Well, this didn't work. So you think that I can go and move forth into YouTube? That was my questioning to God. Okay, well, the plan that I had year before last, which was my plan, I never consulted God. I never prayed about it. Oh, I may have spoke it, spoke it out loud unto myself and, and wrote it down in my journal, but I really didn't consult God. I really didn't meditate on it. I really didn't take it to God and allow him to tell me which direction to go in before thinking that I can execute this great plan of my own, not of God's, but of my own. And I mean, it was just that because it wasn't the plan of God. See, it was my plan. I was operating in my will, not in the father's. We have to listen to God and operate in his will. Allow him to lead and direct us, not think, that we can do this all on our own. And that's where the big, huge mistake comes in at. Not operating in God's will, but in our own. So here I was. So when God spoke to me and said, start a YouTube channel, I said, God, I'm not about to put myself out there. First of all, I'm shy. I'm very much so shy. It may not appear to be that way now, but I'm very much shy. And I said, I'm not gonna subject myself to be criticized, to be critiqued in everything I say or do, every gesture that I make, my demeanor, because you know YouTube can be cruel. Some folk on YouTube can be very cruel. But you know what God spoke to me and said, he said, are you, going to aware, are you going to worry about what others say before you worry about what your heavenly father says about you or what he thinks about you? Ooh, yeah, that's exactly what he said. He said, you have the gall to tell me that you're worried about people that you really don't even know before you worry about your heavenly father and what he thinks about you. When I told you to start a YouTube channel, not only are you worried about folk that don't even know you and you don't even know, 
but then you're going to be disobedient and tell me what you aren't going to do when I told you what to do. That's when I had the aha moment. And I said, okay, God, you're absolutely right. It's time for me to get up and to get over it. Get over all those times that I felt like my plans, the plans that I had for myself didn't work. And now I need to move into my purpose, into your plan for my life. I need to move into your plan, what you ordained for me to do. I need to walk in my destiny. I need to get up and get over it. Start over. Those things that are, are behind me are just that. They're behind me. Those failed plans that I had for myself, that truly that I tried to operate in my own will, and they didn't work. Because they wasn't of God. Because they simply wasn't of the Father. See, they were my plans. I had big plans for myself. I had big major plans. I have plans of, as I stated in a few videos ago, I, I thought of starting a daycare center, a child's daycare center. But that wasn't of God. That was something that Rochelle wanted to do. That was my plan. And that's exactly why I didn't start it. It didn't even start. I had kind of wrote down everything in my journal. I had kind of, you know, wrote steps down that I would take to move forward. But I didn't pray about it. I didn't say, God, God, show me which way to go, what to do. I, I hadn't even gotten that far. But see, the, I had wrote down everything, but it wasn't the will of God. When God spoke to me last year in 2020 during the pandemic, and he said, Rochelle, start a YouTube, a YouTube channel. And I said, God, if I start a YouTube channel, what is going to be the name? What is going to be my content? Who is going to be my audience? Who am I going to reach out to? God said, don't worry about that. I will give you the content. I will give you the name. And you will find yourself being courageous and speaking, uplifting, encouraging others, letting them know that you are not perfect, that you're just like them, that you're human, that you have bad days. But you have to simply get up and get over it. Start over. Consult God. Allow him to show you just what your purpose is in him. Follow. Follow God's plan. And not try to operate in your own will. But operate in God's will. And watch him show you your purpose. And move you into your purpose. When God gives us a purpose. He won't leave us alone. He will not leave us alone. I'm here to encourage someone. Get up and get over it. Those things of the past, those failed business plans, those failed plans that you had for yourself that you didn't consult God about, maybe they didn't work because they wasn't of God. You need to consult God. Allow him to order your steps. We've all had failed we felt like at some time or another that we, we failed at certain goals, assignments. But were they, were they from God? Were they really from God? Or were you operating in your own will? Were you operating in your own will? We have to remember that if God said it, it's done. Get up and get over it. Get over those things that you think that you failed at, that you watch just become another dream that you didn't achieve. No, dust off, dust off that journal book, that goal book. Open it back up and consult Christ. Ask him, okay, God, is this, is this your will? 
or is this my will? And allow him, allow him to speak to you, meditate, pray, pray over those plans, get up, get over it. Those ideas and those things that you thought were failed, failures in your life. No, ask God and consult him. Allow him to direct you and lead you. Order your steps. Get up and get over it. Start new. Don't allow the things of the old, the things of the past to make you feel like you can't move forward. I'm here to declare to you, start over, start over. Consult God and watch him move you into your purpose, into your greater. This is the season where God is calling. He's calling his people to walk in your purpose. And we know a lot of us, a lot of us aren't in our purpose. We have jobs, we have careers, but we're not in our purpose. This is the season God wants us to walk fully in our purpose. Walk fully in your purpose and watch God take those ideas, take those, those thoughts at night that keep you up. Watch him make them, make them great in your life. Get up and get over it. The things of the past, allow them to be in your past and move forward into your future, into your greater. I want to encourage you to get up. This is the day that the Lord has made for you to get up and walk in your purpose. I'm here to declare to you, walk in your purpose and watch God do greater. Watch him move you into who he's called you to be. Don't just settle for a career or a job, but walk in your purpose. This is the season. I'm here to declare to someone, this is the season because I'm a witness. I'm walking in my purpose. Why I, been, why I have been placed on this earth is to uplift, to encourage, to inspire, to assure you that you too can make it that you too can walk in your purpose. Don't allow fear or frustration, disappointments, stress to make you feel like, oh, it's no need for me to do that now. That, that time has passed. No, the time is now. The time is now for you to walk in your purpose. I wanna encourage you, get up and get over it. Get over those things of the past, those things of the old. Consult God. Ask him to lead you and direct you and to walk in your purpose. Now is the season. This is Rochelle. This is Inspirational Cafe. Don't forget, the season is now. Get up and get over it and watch God move you into your purpose. As always, I love you all. Until next time, be blessed.